heading to Boston for the first time, well, in a week anyway. Hello and welcome to the Adventures of JMO. I'm Jeremy Moses, and as uh, has been the custom for this trip, uh, except for early in yesterday's video, I'm joined today by my friend Daria. Say hello. Hello. Oh, there we go. And uh, today we are heading via commuter rail. Good morning. Uh, we are heading via commuter rail to the city of Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, my hometown. Her hometown, that's my right. Place. Yep, uh, Boston Strong, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to check out some of the sites. Uh, I've wanted to check out Fenway and uh, Boylston Street, uh, the marathon uh, finish line. Uh, after what happened last year, uh, it has a historical significance uh, that uh, few of us will ever forget in our lifetimes. No, definitely not. And so... Uh, we're going to go and we're going to uh, check that out. And uh, also, I think we're going to go to, you want to go, you want to take me up to the Prudential. We're going to try to see if we can hit the Prudential Center, depending on how much of a time constraint we're under. But yeah, definitely. So yeah. you can see all of Boston. Yeah, the, uh, the Fenway thing's supposed to only take an hour. So we should be able to do that. Yeah, we should be able to. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, so we're just waiting on the, the uh, bus to go to downtown Providence to get the commuter rail. So, yeah, um, let's just wait. We'll check in then and we'll check it out next time we'll be on Boston. Wait, right? wait, wait. Mm -hmm. No, no, What's not that? quite. Uh, this, is, this is all being edited into one video. Oh, all right. Ah, <laughs> that, I do my vlogs differently. She doesn't know that. <laughs> so, I do it by chapters. She, do, she does it by chapters. Uh, if, uh, if you're on Facebook, you already know this. <laughs> so, yeah. So, made right the commuter rail. Uh, just waiting for everybody to board so that we can head into downtown Boston, which is going to be a very interesting experience. And, uh, vlogception going on right now because I'm film filming a vlog and I'm filming a vlog too. Yep. This is Jeremy's first commuter rail ride over to the city of Beantown. Yep. And uh, this is going to be an interesting experience for me. I have to say I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a Kind of interesting. I have been on a uh, on a train. You've been on a trail before, right? Before, not commuter rail. but not commuter rail. Yeah, because as you see, the Acela, you know, it's gone now. It just went by. Yeah. And uh, I've also never been on a subway. Yeah, so you're gonna be riding your T. So I'm gonna be riding your T. Now, once you look at Dave, Jeremy's face when I describe how we're gonna get there. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get to the commuter rail, which is the Silver Line. Take right. the Silver Line to the Red Line. The red line is built on the Park Street. The Park Street is where you connect the green line. The green line, you take the T up there to Fenway. I have no idea what the hell she just said. <laughs> she lost me at red line. Exactly. <laughs> That's about where she lost me. So, it's the red line. Don't so. worry. Well, when we get there, we'll be all set. When we get there, we'll be all set. So we're heading to Fenway next. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, just heading to Fenway. It's going to be fun. Um, by the way, they use these things. They're called Charlie cards. Um, very interesting fair media um, being used nowadays. Uh, not traditional, uh, to say the least. No, not traditional. Which is going to be a very interesting experience. And uh, log deception going on right now because I'm film filming a vlog and I'm filming a vlog too. Yep. 
This is Jeremy's first commuter rail ride up to the city of Beantown. Yep. And uh, this is going to be an interesting experience for me. I have to say, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a kind of interesting. I have been on a uh, on a train. You've been on trail before, but before. not a commuter rail. But not commuter rail. Yeah, because as you see, the Acela, even though it's gone now, just went by. Yep. And uh, I've also never been on a subway. Yeah, so you're going to be riding the T. So I'm going to be riding the T. Now, I want you to look at J Jeremy's face when I describe how we're going to get there. Okay. okay. We're going to get to the commuter rail, which is the silver line. Take the right. silver line to the red line. The red line is the Park Street. Park Street is where you connect to the green line. The green line, take the T up there to Penn Line. I have no idea what the hell you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the peanut gallery there. Really so, well, don't worry. When we get there, we'll be all set. When we get there, we'll be all set. So, we're heading to Fidway next, and uh, yeah. So, we're going to be heading to Fenway. It's going to be fun. Um, by the way, they use these things. They're called Charlie cars. Um, very interesting fair media uh, being used nowadays. Uh, not traditional. Uh, no, not traditional. They adopted it a while ago. They used to have just like little mini tickets, but not anymore. All right. Now for me, signing off. Gonna be in a few shots of Boston on the way up there. And next time we talk, we'll be on Fenway time. Yep. All right. Made it. We're on the T. Destination. Next stop, Boylston. Well, we're not heading to Boylston, but it's letting us know that's the next stop. But, Jeremy, what do you think of your first tea so far? First tea? Not only the first tea, the first subway. Period. <laughs> I know, it's amazing. I mean, the beauty... Yep. They got an electronic one on there, so that way it slides out easier, as opposed to the ones that ripped up, where they, you know, beep, 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 you know, like that. <laughs> Well, those are too. Yeah, I know, but this one's just flat easy. There you are. Mm -hmm. So we're in Boylston now, and want to inform everyone where we're heading? Uh, we're going to Fenway. Yep, we're going to go check out Fenway Park, and check out the rich history of the Boston Red Sox. We're on Boylston. This train's destination is to Riverside, so next time we talk to you, we'll be at Fenway. Yep. Peace out. I promise we won't leave without you. Some things for Fenway Park and the Boston Red Sox. When he turned 30, he inherited $40 million and bought himself the Boston Red Sox and Fenway Park for $1.2 million. Which was cheap in those days. Well, it was expensive, but yeah. it was cheap too, you know. Yeah. So he went on to spend $1.5 million in renovations. Now he um, put in these wooden seats. Yeah, your, your people are too good. They break the windows. They busted the, the doors. So he had, you know, only spending probably $4 million. He's got a little bit of a change to play with. But he goes over to check it few photos to show in this part of the video. Now, between Dory and myself, we only managed about eh, three dozen photos, give or take one or two. And like I said, I've only picked the best few to show in this slideshow. What you're looking at is uh, some of the best parts of the ballpark, but believe it or not, with everything that we got to see, the best part of the whole experience well, that was still to come, and you're about to see it right here. Wow. I'm actually standing on the field. That's the bullpen. Yeah. I used to sit there a lot. I remember seeing Clemens there. Roger Clemens. Yep. He used to pitch there, of course, before the scandal. Yep. I've lived in Boston for so long. I'm, this is my first ever, and I'm just... <sighs> Emotional.
how do you not get emotional about being someplace like this? Yeah. It's one of the most beautiful sites ever. I hope they never tear this son of a bitch down. Nope. When I turn 100, this thing better still be here. seeing one of the most beautiful sights in baseball from the ground point of view we're on the freaking field I've been in Boston I've lived in Boston I'm from Boston and never did I ever think I would get down to see the field at this level and of course this is your first time yeah what do you uh, think you know considering the history you've seen behind it and everything uh, I've been on a major league field in Cincinnati. Right after they finished Great American Ballpark, I got the chance to tour the field. I got the chance to walk on the field. But in my lifetime, I never thought I would get to stand on a historic site. I know, like and this. in front and of the monster. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the monster, the fucking monster. I know. Can you imagine? You may not be able to see it in the camera, but you can see all the dents from where all the balls hit. Yep. And I hope they never tear this thing down. Nope, never. Never will when, happen. When I turn a hundred years old, this son of a bitch better still be there. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, so much rich history behind this. No question about it. So yeah, no I mean. You can't get them. You can't help get emotional, but get emotional. Exactly. Be here. You just have to experience it for yourself. So, get down here. If you ever have a chance, by God, get down here. Tour this guys, history. Gone a little bit longer than right. I intended, but it is fun out. After that really cool experience, it was time to head out. We did have to stop and get something to eat, and I wanted to stop by and get a souvenir real quick. Now. One thing that we did not show you that I wish I would have got the video of, we kind of walked into two people carrying the World Series trophies, and Daria freaked the hell out. <laughs> it was really cool to get to do that. The whole experience was really awesome, and if you're in the Boston area, or even just go to Boston, I would highly recommend the guided tours of Fenway Field. They're really awesome. And so, another day comes to a close, a good day in the city of Boston, Boston Strong. This city has come back from one of the worst days in its history, and it's just been an awesome day. I want to thank the city for its hospitality. Uh, it's just a great city, one of the great American cities. Uh, Fenway was awesome. Uh, if you ever get a chance to do that, Please do. It's just awesome. But that's going to be it for this Adventures of JMO. I'm Jeremy Moses. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. And I do hope to see you right back here in the very near future. Take care.